Hello, this is my sixth tutorial, and this is going to be about how to make a speedometer for a car. So now, first of all, to start off with, add a skybox. Like we did in tutorial 5. And then, add a terrain. Then, add a G-Force. I'm going to do all relationships after, once we add all of our objects. Just place it, like this. After, add a Cam Chase. Place it so we can see, so it can chase the car. Just put in a good position like this okay then after um put a sprite and adjust the and make sure that it's rotary dial a like this and the width has to be 8 and the height has to be 8 like this and move it to the bottom like that okay then after add another sprite just name both of them rename the first one dial and rename the second one arrow spike arrow and spike dial okay F but first add a source image and make sure it's rotary dial b that you're selecting and the width has to be two and the height has to be eight and then select it then drag it exactly to the middle of the other sprite where the dot is so then after add the script I'll put the script in the description, and then this is going to be the script. Okay, now relationships. Terrain has to be related to the car and the cam chase. The G-force has to be related to the car. The car has to be related to the terrain, G-force. Cam chase and script. The cam chase has to be related to the terrain and the car. Just change the cam chase and change the translation speed to 0 0.997 as I did on my other tutorials. And make sure terrain is a void. And car is chase. Okay. Then after. Um, sprite dial has not got to do related to anything. And sprite arrow. Has to be related to the script. And script has to be related to. The, both the sprite arrow and the car. And it already is. So um, open up the script. And you'll see um, the object handles, the inputs, and the outputs. Like in lesson five, I told you how to um, how to um, change those, the object handles and the input and the output. So for the object zero, car. So, but you have spider orientation. So you need, and sprite is here, so that's the 22. So change that, the object 0, to object 22. Now you have modified one object. If you have, to just check if there are any other object handles. No, there isn't. So now check if there are any inputs. There is an input here. 
Just make sure it's on speed meters per second car. Well, it's not, because then that's brake state. So you're going to have to change it to input 0, speed meters per second car. So let's change input 3 to input 0. And check if there are any outputs. No, there aren't any, so um, now um, we can try it. Let's just see if it works. Yeah, it works. It works perfectly. Now, um, I'll show you what it does when, if you want to change the speed, I'll show you what it does. It goes um, up too fast. So to resolve that problem, that it goes up, up too fast, then make it less sensitive and make the float range like half it. So six to three. So then it's better. By the way, those numbers represent the e for each meter per second, it moves three degrees per um, meters per second. So if you um go at four at four meters per second, then your gar your gauge will go twelve degrees to the to the 12 degrees clockwise so if it's 10 meters per second then it is 30 degrees so now um, we have a car we have a cam chase so that should be it for today and I'll put the link in the description script